Hi friends, uh, today we have Abhimanyu Achyut, uh, who is one of our Applied AI course registered students. And Abhimanyu recently joined as a data scientist at this very interesting startup called Curl out of Bangalore. Curl works on multiple problems uh, in the space of intelligent data extraction, machine learning for forecasting, computer vision for road safety and things like that. Very interestingly, Achyut is working on building computer vision and deep learning solutions to detect road signs for 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 a for a truck for a for a transportation company very interesting computer vision problem in the intersection of deep learning and autonomous cars so very good to see you abhimanyu also uh, thanks for taking your time and sharing your learning journey and your experiences here uh, thank you sir it would not have been possible without the course because uh, i only have gotten this far because of the course the materials that you provide in the study uh, and also the effort that we put in because yes that's uh, that's the most important you put in tons of effort and that leads you to success we have been only there to guide you and suggest you what to do and what not to do right cool very nice yes, yes. i'll give a brief background and then we'll get started with your learning and interview experiences sure sure cool so abhimanyu uh, is joined curl and i'm very happy to inform that he got a 3x compensation of his previous compensation very good in terms of compensation and the quality of work, which is what matters the most. Uh, earlier, he was working as a project engineer at Wipro for a couple of years. Before that, he did his B.Tech in computer science and graduated in 2019. So uh, Abhimanyu, let's get into your interview experience. So what were the interview experience like? If you could walk us through each of the interviews and uh, what were they focusing on? Uh, the HR called me and uh, we talked about my background and because I did not have any background in data science and machine learning. So uh, she wanted to know whether I'm comfortable in working in this uh, profile or not. So after she gained confidence in me, then uh, again, in the next month, uh, the first so formal what, round of interview. What helped you yeah. communicate clearly that you know data science and how did you convince the HR that, yes, you know the basics to schedule the next rounds of interviews? Yeah, I walked them over my projects, the POCs that I have built with the Applied Air course. Uh, I have built two case studies. One was on machine learning and the other was an NLP problem. So I, I walked uh, through the uh, problems and she liked that. And then uh, I went forward with the second round of interview. Again, many of our students also use their self-case studies and problems that they solve, their technical blogs to showcase to recruiters who are doubtful if you don't have prior experience. It's a very good strategy. Yeah. Cool. Let's go into yeah. your next interviews now. And now the first round of interview was uh, uh, very, very technical. It, uh, it was like from basic uh, Python, and then we moved on to SQL, then uh, to ma machine learning, and then deep learning all happened within the span of one hour. Every, every, and also... That would have been a fairly... Uh, exhaustive interview. Exactly. Uh, after every five to ten minutes, the topic changes. We have to, you know, also adapt our mind. Oh, again, now in, so, uh, yeah, exactly. And then uh, there was also one, one, two coding problems that were uh, that I was supposed to not write code, just to uh, give a pseudo code or give my interpretation of the problem and how we can solve it. So that was the first round. And then after so that, how are the programming the... problems as compared to the assignments that you have solved at Applied AI course in terms of hardness or similarity or, uh, or time I would say, I, yeah, I would say they were very similar. Okay. They were not uh, harder. And this assignments at Applied AI course are also not very much hard to solve because, because if you know the basics, if, if you learn everything, then it's uh, ultimately it's very simple. Uh, so, or I, I would say medium level. So the problems are also medium level, not very hard. So, and you are comfortably able to solve the programming questions or the SQL related questions in the first round of interview. Yeah, yeah. For the SQL round, I, I gained confidence from the applied AI course because there was this problem called SRK problem in the applied AI course, which, which uh, ultimately tests all the uh, things that, that you need to do. It has joins, it has all the clauses that you have to use. Yes. <laughs> so, yeah, that's yeah, one of so our that... slightly advanced ones where we force students to apply everything to solve a slightly tricky situation. Yeah, so that, that problem really helped me and that uh, helped me gain confidence and I solved the SQL problem there. Very good, very good. Let's move on to the next rounds of interview. 
yeah and the second round of interview uh, i firstly i was uh, again asked about my background and uh, all the uh, interview was based on my case study the case studies that i have done and i needed to explain how i did what what was the business problem and how what was my first cut approach and what were the results what what is the performance metric that i choose, chose and why i chose that so that was mostly a dive deep into your self case studies yeah yeah could test whether this candidate has done actually uh, yeah that's that. that's often what interviewers want to test have you actually done it or are you just faking it yeah good 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 what what, what about the next rounds after this after that uh, there was one round with the ceo uh, where uh, we talked about um, life perspectives our goals and then uh, uh, we, we talked about compensation and then the next round was uh, hr round very good round. very good very good very nice very nice experiences and we are happy that some of the work that you have done especially your self case studies were helpful at a couple of points very nice so can you walk us now through your learning journey what was your learning journey been what were the ups and downs uh, just just please help us walk through again i understand that you come from a computer science background you already wrote code so your journey may be different from others but we would like to hear yours yeah yes sir so uh, after my btech as i joined wipro i was very uh, it was very comfortable because 9 to 5 job not much work to do i was very happy then uh, lockdown came and in the lockdown i i was forced to be on bench because there were no projects available uh, at my domain so i thought uh, to upgrade my skills and then uh, i heard from my friend then and she is my wife now so oh, well, she told me about yeah she told me about applied ai course and she told me that this is a very reasonable price that they are providing such materials uh she was student at other uh, some other course so i didn't have budget to buy that course actually got it very low on budget so uh, so i then heard about this uh, placement guarantee program so, so uh, i thought i thought that this is a very good investment if i want to learn anything so in september 2020 uh, i enrolled for the course and within 3 to 4 months it till january i completed all the machine learning assignments i was at very good speed but then again some due to some personal reasons i was very down uh, with the deep learning i was very slow with the deep learning assignment and uh, i it took time to for me to complete my first case study i completed it in march and then again i started uh, solving assignments so my preparation strategy was that i uh, watched videos and then i made some notes uh, on my notebook and then i solved the assignments so everything i was doing parallelly it was not like watching all the videos and then solving the assignments so if i uh, watched a video of a topic then i uh, was solving the assignment related to that topic also and so, we also see a lot of students who have sprints and then slow days so that's perfectly yeah. all right people sprint for two months then something important comes up in their personal life or professional life they go they get slowed down for a month again sprint so we see this journey it's hard to be persistent forever so yeah. but that's okay the most important part is once you have slowed down you have to again start that's the important part yeah uh, the reason for my slow down was i i then got into a support project at uh, wipro yes so yes. it was rotational shift so my shifts were not fixed oh got it got it and that disturbed your uh, time that yeah. you were trying to learn happens exactly. happens to all of us for in your case it was a professional reason why you slowed down but then the most important part is you rebounded from it and found a way around it that's important yeah what did you do with revision in general because of the vastness of topics that you are learning and experiencing for the first time yeah i wrote notes that helped me to revise very uh, clearly so uh, uh, when my first case study uh, i completed my first case study my first interview was scheduled and uh, i remember the first time i was not prepared very well you only took my first round of interview and you just asked me one first problem you asked me what is the derivative of l1 norm and i was numb and then after 3 to 4 minutes i got to know that oh my god i have not revised very well or something had happened so i went uh, again back to my notes and revised properly and the second time i 
did uh, i gave a proper interview it was very good then so very good that's when yeah. i uh, i it, it's really uh, very happy to see our students to whom we give critical feedback they improve and they finally land in jobs because i mean that 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 literally makes a day for anybody not just me for any of our mentors or instructors because uh, again happens to all of us we for our first mock interview if a student is not well prepared we tell them very frankly ki boss you are lacking please take time revise and let's redo it we are happy to redo it very good yeah that that helped me and that also gave me an idea that how much i should revise what should be the uh, difference between uh, one revision and the next revision so i planned it and then i started revising more frequently uh, all the topics and very good very good in august i completed my second case study and in from september i started receiving calls from kar Uh, very good very good uh, so very nice insights also from your own learning journey so what suggestions would you give to somebody very similar to you probably a computer science graduate with a couple of years of work experience at an it services company what suggestions will you give them in terms of what are the most important things they should focus on if they're serious about career transitions to data science uh, i would say the course content is more than enough i would say uh, to watch it because it com- uh, almost uh, covers the breadth and the depth of what is out there what is required out there in the market so i would say to uh, watch the videos uh, uh, and make notes properly and then uh, also go through the because i believe that assignments uh, which are there in the course are more than enough for anyone to land a job because uh, there are yeah, variety we, we, of we designed them such that people who do them genuinely will get through yeah yeah exactly exactly so i would say to uh, solve the assignments on own uh, also because they are enough if you solve the assignments on your own then i believe there is a subtle confidence inside you that you can crack any job got it got it got it. got it got it got uh, it thank you abhimanyu thank you for sharing your learning journey and it's very interesting uh, also you went through your own ups and downs in the learning journey like most of our students and also as you as the interviewer who took your first mock interview i'm super proud that you rebounded you took the feedback that we provided and you succeeded that that means a lot to me also personally and thank you very much for sharing your learning journey thank you sir thank you